I think that my work is very much about um, looking or how we look at the world and how we see things and uh, that we see them very differently. First because we are looking at it from uh, different positions but also with different minds, with different experience and memories and you know conditions of the mind. So we have def very different uh, perception uh, of, of, of the same thing. I mean probably in every artwork the viewer is part of a whole system, you know, image, sculpture, video or whatever and viewer. But um, it, I, my work I think uh, really emphasizes on the idea that the, the viewer is very much involved in the work, almost like really um, well surrounded by the images, spatially involved and then also mentally yeah, he kind of, he or she completes uh, the work in his or her mind. The more sculptural works that are like, like uh, only three or four images of, uh, of a group of people, they are to me almost sculptures but they are of course photographs but I think in the mind of the viewer they become a sculpture. Room 2 is an exception in, in the way that it's um, consisting of three works, three individual works but they're relating very much to each other. In one work I use the location as a real location where the scene is happening that I'm taking and in the other work the same location is a backdrop. There's uh, one backdrop with a forest, the girl is standing in front of it and uh, on the right side the girl um, is obviously standing in a, in a studio. The forest and the studio, they are really pretty far apart from each other. So it makes you think about what, what, um, what is the truth actually in, that, in these images. So there's kind of this um, um, disorienting um, thread going through that room that you, you trying to figure out what is um, real and what is um, backdrop and after having seen that room maybe you have doubts about all the other work, uh, you know all the other fo photographs it makes you think about them differently and then on the other uh, on, on the other side I have the the forest as a real location it's actually the same framing of the same trees the same forest and it's real it's not a backdrop and the girl stands there in front of the camera and then on the left we had a backdrop of, of a street in New York in between the trees. I'm aiming for a, a more general idea and which is more about um, actually p uh, our perception that is um, so subjective and you know that we really uh, we think that we see what we see but um, who knows what that is, you know, and two people um, never know if they, you know, how, how the other person uh, sees what they both looking at. So that's our subjective view, that is our perception and I'm very much interested in that and that's why I'm doing this with photography. I use photography but at the end it's not so terribly much about photography, I want the more um, I'm aiming for that more general um, idea of perception and the conditions of perception and our subjectivity. Sometimes I feel like a scientist doing experiments with these different parameters in the work, you know, the viewer, the camera, the point of view of the camera, the, the distance to the model, um, the backdrops, um, the relationship to the model, the camera to the model. Um, all, all these things that make uh, a photograph, or all these things we take for granted that they are that way, um, that I'm, I'm trying to investigate and, and um, I'm, in each work I'm changing one or two of these parameters a little bit and then they can be very different.